Victor Nogura played in the previous game between these two clubs. He's a good young goalkeeper, but Ferner, a veteran, played on the Stings uh, Soccer Bowl Championship team. Up in front of him, Charlie Ficus, Carl Heinz Kronitza, Brett Hall, they call him the Toy Bulldog. Number 13, Tasso Katsukas, and Derek Spalding. So there you have the lineups for this afternoon's game. The Americans against the Sting. Americans trying to even it up. On the field, Marty Templin, one of the officials. As we're underway, Chicago into the Memphis zone. In the near corner, Brett Hall bat, trying to bang it off the boards. He's stopped by Michelot, who sends it along the boards, but he is fouled by Hall, and the Americans put it in play. Just underway at the Mid-South Coliseum. Americans with the ball in their own zone. Steve Allison crossing a near side of Henry Sosnitsa. Now along the near boards, overleading Stamekovic. It rolls all the way down to the Chicago zone, taken by Ferner, the goalkeeper for Chicago. He gives it up ahead to Tasso Katsukas. Taken away by Stamekovic. A shot and a save. A shot and a goal! Ray Kulovac gets the goal. Stan Stamekovic stole the ball. Took a shot. Ferner made the save. Rebound to Kudovac. He fired, and the Americans take the lead. There's a break in the action. The score. The Americans won. Chicago nothing. So the Americans come out with their guns a blazing at 28 seconds of the opening quarter. Ray Kulovac gets the goal. The assist dance to Mankovic. It's 1-0 Memphis. Chicago with the ball at midfield right now as Hall is tripped up by Kulovac, who tried to come in and make a slotting tackle. Didn't get the ball, but instead got Hall's legs and uh, gets the foul called against him. So Chicago will put the ball in play. Again, Chicago banged up with a couple of their regulars not able to play. Ingo Peter, uh, too many penalty minutes. Three other players also sidelined with injuries. And Chicago had played last night in Chicago and had to travel here to Memphis last night right after the game. So maybe the Americans have a physical edge in this game this afternoon. Mike Garrett at midfield on the far boards leaves it now for Steve Allison. Now up to Henry Sosnitsa, up to the center circle to Garrett. Garrett trying to advance the ball put down by Katsukas and it'll be the Americans ball and a free kick at the center circle. One thing you try to do, though, Chris, is keep Chicago from uh, getting in its running game, so you got to control the tempo on this team, slow it down a bit. Long drive into the corner for Kunovac, headed away by Hall. Out to midfield, War says Nietzsche has it. So Znitsa, line drive pass, far corner, Stamekovic. On him is Spalding. He knocks it away, and a foul is called on Spalding as he grabbed a hold of Stan to get around him to get that uh, ball away from him. Starting off right now, Tom, uh, Chicago does not look like uh, a great team at no. this point. They're, they're playing very lackadaisical. Garrett, a lot. Garrett with a shot that almost trickled in. It was deflected and almost bounced in very slowly, but finally Ferner got a hand on it and knocked it away. Garrett almost rang the bell again. Midfield play headed to, taken away by Chicago at its own red line. Brett Hall exchanging kicks with Mike Garrett. Now goes up to Stamekovic from, from uh, Sosnitsa. Stamekovic down the near side. Stamekovic top of the box. Stamekovic a heel pass. Nobody there. And it's taken away by Katsukas. He kicks it out the midfield. Carl Heinz Granitsa, the scoring machine for Chicago. Now giving it off to Charlie Ficus. Ficus working through the center circle. Now leaves it behind as Chicago changes Lines on the fly, taken away from Rudy Glenn by Stamekovic, lead to Garrett near side. Garrett a shot of the save by Ferner. Garrett a rebound up into the crowd, and it'll be a goal kick for Chicago. The Americans on the attack, Chris. Well, this guy, they're uh, starting off right where they ended up the other night against Wichita, and they're coming out pretty fast and strong. Getting the goal that early in the game can do nothing but help. Uh, a tragic mistake by Tasso Katsukas as he held the ball and held the ball and let the Americans close the sting down. And he finally had nowhere to pass it. The Americans took advantage of it, and it's got them running right now. Chicago, on the other hand, is sort of miffed by the whole thing, and it's doing a good job of watching. And the toss by Ferner goes over all three lines, comes down on the Americans, and then it'll come back to the Chicago red line, where the Americans will put the ball in play with 12.31 to go in the opening quarter. Memphis leading Chicago 1-0. Holzenbein. 
Putting the ball into the Chicago zone, knocked away by Greg Ryan, but Holsey has it back in midfield. Now to Espinosa to the near board, Joe Sullivan crossing a high lob for Long, but overleading him. Ferner comes out of the box to kick it up to midfield. Battle for it midfield. Ryan knocks it away from uh, Sosnitsa. Here comes Chicago. Pato Marhetic in the slot. Marhetic leading near side, a shot, and it's into the net. It may have been kicked in inadvertently by Tony Carbagnani as Chicago has evened it up. There's a break in the action. The score, Chicago won and the Americans won. I don't know who's going to get that. Alonzo. It looked like he just put it in there. It was going in, Tony. Yeah. So at 250, it's the Chicago Argentinian connection, Ricardo Alonso scoring, assisted by fellow countryman Pardo Marhetic, and the game is tied at 1 1. Here are the Americans, Holzenbein driving for long in the far corner, and it's deflected up over him by Bob Vossmeyer of Chicago, and the Americans have put it in play in the far corner. So the Yugoslavian connection scores, and then the Argentinian connection scores. Americans have the ball at the red line. Tony Carbignani, an Argentinian himself, now gives it out to midfield to Matt O'Sullivan. Kicked away from him by Rudy Glenn. Glenn a two-on-one. Glenn over the red line. Now the near side shot. Off the boards wide near the near side. It's kicked out to midfield, and Chicago has it. Young Jung Cho leading into the box. Shot and missing wide near side. Shot by Alonzo. Is up over the glass into the crowd. This Ricardo Alonzo has been impressive. Well, he's a, a very talented player. Uh, he's a big one, too. This guy, I don't know how tall he is, but he's standing next to him. He's like about 6'4", and for a forward, that's a pretty good size, and that's a good takedown right there for two points. I tell you what, I haven't seen linebackers make tackles that good <laughs> as Ricardo Alonso took Michelo down by the shoulders and just landed on top of him, and that's 6'3", 190 pounds falling on you. That's program weight. The guy is probably closer to 200 pounds and 190. And so Michelot does get up. Just a common <laughs> foul is called. Nothing intentional, they say. So it's 11.06 to go. First quarter, the game tied at one. Americans at midfield. With it is Tony Carbignani. Pressured in his own zone. Kicks across to the near side. And Matt O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan rolling pass up to Holton by. Knocked away from him. But it's into the mid Memphis uh, correction. The Chicago zone. Along the red line with it now is Greg Ryan. He leaves it behind him. Long drive, bouncing lead for Alonzo into the far corner of Memphis zone. On his back is O'Sullivan. They both go down. Here's a shot from the far side, missing wide by Ryan. And it goes to the near boards, Pato Marhedic. Marhedic double team, taking it away is Tony Carbignani. Carbignani on the run out to midfield. Crossing to the far boards, and Stevie Long now it goes to Espinosa, leading to Long. Long into the Chicago zone, down the far side, tackled away, but taken right back by Stevie. Stevie on the far point, gives it right next to him to Espinosa, crossing near side to Tony Carbignani. He retreats out to midfield to set up the formation again. Long lob, top of the box, headed away from Holzenbein by Chicago. Bob Bossmeyer, and it's out back to the Memphis red line where it's controlled by Sosnitsa. Carbignani, lobbing to the far corner for Long, headed away again by Young Jung Cho. And it's up in midfield, Greg Ryan for Chicago. Taking it away, Stevie Long, he does. Stevie has it. Stevie over the red line up the middle. Feeding to the near wing and Carbignani back to Stevie, but it's taken away by Cho, who is playing good position on him. Out to midfield, it's Vossmeyer. Vossmeyer dropping a pass to Chicago, changes back to the number one line. Charlie Ficus leading to Brett Hall. Hall off the near corner, boards out in front, a shot by Granitza, and a save by Michelo. Granitza didn't get it all. Mike Garrett is on the red line for the Americans. Kicking it over to the near side of Henry Sosnitsa. Sosnitsa giving it off now to Stamankovic. Leading back now to, uh, to Steve Allison. Allison to Sosnitsa. Now to Kunovac. The Americans moving the ball around at midfield now. Stan on the boards. Near side at midfield. On him is Granitsa. Rolling pass intercepted easily by Kutsukas as he was trying to connect with Sosnitsa. Long drive to the far corner. The American zone kicked away by Michelo. Right up to Mike Garrett. Garrett leading to Steve Allison. Allison along the near boards. Leaving for Garrett. Had to slow up to get the ball. Garrett working on Katsukas. Still on the near boards midfield. 
Garrett leading to the top of the box to Stamekovic. Stamekovic double team. Stamekovic leading in the slot to Sosnitsa. To Garrett. Garrett a shot. Just missing wide to the far side. Into the far corner, Stamekovic again. Stand double team by Vossmeyer and centers into the box and a foul is called. That's not on Vossmeyer, that's on Derek Spaulding. Spaulding and Mike Twelman were on stand and they finally got the call. Here's Allison, a shot just off the near post. Off the centering pass by Stamekovic off the free kick. He put it off the near post. Charlie Ficus at midfield to Mike Twelman. Now to Katsukas. Katsukas up to the red line and grenades it. Gets it right back, though. Kicks it now near side to Charlie Ficus. Ficus putting it along the near board into the American zone, way over leading Grenitsa. And Kulovac has it for the Americans. Steve Allison breaking it out of his own zone, out the midfield. Gets far boards to Stamekovic. He'll pass Allison. Kicked away by Twelman on a good sliding tackle. Chicago has it near boards, midfield. Charlie Ficus. Ficus moving his way to the red line, giving it to Granitza, top of the slot. Granitza battled by Kunovac, knocks it away to Mike Garrett. And they call a foul on Kuno. That's what you call star consideration. That was a beautiful tackle by Kuno, but uh, Granitza complained a little bit and he got the call. I don't agree with it. Mike Twelman at the red line. Now kicked into the zone by Spaulding. Granitza switching off with Ficus on the near wing. Ficus on the near board, reversing towards the red line, sends it back along the red line. Top of the slot to Kazukas, to Granitza, and he pushed Allison down and gets the foul. And Granitza just says, hey, you're not supposed to call that one on me because I am a star. <laughs> he does. He's, 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 very, he's very cocky out in the field. Uh, he, uh, he knows he owns Chicago, and I think he owns Lee Stern. No matter what uh, Karl Heinz Granitza does is right. And uh, he has this attitude with his other players, too. If he makes a mistake, it's not his mistake. It's your mistake. Good crowd on hand here at the Coliseum as Allison feeds to Garrett, knocked away from him into the near corner by Twelman. It comes bouncing off the boards, and they call Garrett on the foul for boarding Mike Twelman. Golden Bay has beaten Buffalo 6-5 to five in overtime, so the Americans can gain some ground on the fifth-place Buffalo team with a win here this afternoon. Again, we're all tied 1-1, 7-0-6 left to go in the opening quarter. Here at the Mid-South Coliseum, Tom Stalker, Chris Bartell is bringing you all the action as the Americans now change to the number two line. The ball they put in play by Pato Marhedek on the near boards at midfield after the ball went up into the crowd. It's knocked away by Holzenbein. Back right back though to Marhedek. Marhedek giving it off to Cho. Now to Vossmeyer. Vossmeyer to the center circle. To Alonzo, leaves it right back to Vossmeyer. He puts the line, drive into the map for zone for Ryan. Ryan takes it on the fly. Into the near corner. He's hounded by Carbignani. They call the foul on Ryan for trying to push Tony away. Americans have it back. The game tied 1-1. The Americans took the lead. Just 28 seconds into the game. Ray Kunovac got the goal. But Chicago tied it up at 250. Midfield play far board. Stevie Long now to George Espinosa to the near boards and holds them by. Olsenbein putting it along the near boards, bouncing pass to the near corner, and O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan back out near point to Carbignani. Carbignani too long, one touch off of him. Controlled back out, though, by midfield by Espinosa to Holzenbein. Rolling pass far boards to Long. Long on the far wing. Into the slot, and O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan, a shot just missing wide on the left side. Rebound cleared away by Ferner. Right to Long. Long a drive up over the glass into the crowd. And a goal kick coming up. Another score in the MISL at halftime up at St. Louis. The Steamers and the L.A. Lasers, the losing his team in the league, are tied 3-3. Goal kick headed high in the air at midfield to nobody at the moment. Finally, Holzenbein takes it off the body, kicks it up along the near boards to Carbignani. Carbignani lost the ball. It goes to the far corner. Tony chasing it down, puts a kick off the glass, headed away from the top of the box by Chicago. Now Holzenbein, too long, too high, though, and it's taken off of Stevie by Pato Marhedic. Tackled away by O'Sullivan. Too long, but he overled Carbignani into the far corner of the Chicago zone, and Vossmeyer takes it. Good defensive play by Matt O'Sullivan. Ryan for Chicago at his own red line. Dribbles along the red line, gives it off now to Vossmeyer. Up to the center circle, and Ricardo Alonso. 
Alonzo over the red line, into the Memphis zone, down the far side. Ridden off the play. Loose ball though, taken by Cho. He battles for it with Holzen by Holsey wins the battle. Steve Long has it. Long over the red line, into the Chicago zone, down the far side. Long a drive, missing wide of the near corner. O'Sullivan putting it off the glass. It goes through the box to the far corner. Stevie Long has it on the far boards. Crossing to the slot at Carbignani. Carbignani, volley shot, saved by Ferner, and it doesn't allow a rebound, but O'Sullivan was there waiting for one. Good couple of volleys there by Tony Carbignani. Kicked it up in the air for himself and let loose with a right-footed volley that Werner had to make the save. Now here's Chicago into the Memphis zone. Brett Hall, top of the box, shot, sliding save by Michelot. It looked like he was out of position, but somehow got himself in the way of the ball. Chicago with the ball at midfield, Marhedic into the Memphis zone, down the near side, tackled and by Carbignani, loose ball though goes right to Brett Hall. Hall putting it around, turn of the boards, in on Michelot, he makes the grab and throws it out to midfield. Stamakovic, far boards, over the red line, battling there and taking it away is Spalding, but it goes right to Carbignani. Now passing to Stamakovic in the far corner, knocked away by Hall. Hall, who did a good job defensively on Stamakovic up in Chicago, now brings the ball up to the Memphis red line. He is put down by Soznitsa. And it's just a common foul. By the way, the, again, the officials on the field, Marty Templin and Don Winschink. Rudy Glenn to the near boards, Memphis zone and Ficus crossing it along the red line, far point in Hall. Hall, right-footed shot off the glass. Michelo takes the rebound and throws it out to midfield. Stamankovic, midfield on the near boards. Sends a cross field to the far side. Steve Allison now along the boards to Kunovets. Kuno to Garrett. Garrett has to retreat to midfield to retain possession of the soccer ball. Kicks it up to Kunovac in the Chicago zone. Try to get it back to uh, Mike, but he was fouled from behind by Hall. Chicago gets the fall. The Americans get the ball. So Zizzo put the ball in play on the near point. 3.38 to go in the opening quarter. 1-1 the score. Lobbing it for Kuno, overleading him, headed away by Glenn of Chicago and controlled by Ficus, who leaves it right behind him to big Rudy Glenn. He kicks it up the midfield off an airboards for Granitza. Now to Ficus. He's watched there by Mike Garrett. Passing it up ahead to Brett Hall. Hall over the red line. Hall passing the airboards to Granitza. Granitza drives, save Michelot. No rebound. And he rolls it up ahead to Mike Garrett. Garrett off the far boards, trying to get it by Rudy Glenn. He shoves him down. The foul will be called, I believe, on Mike. Yeah. Mike gave a little shove. Well, there's a mismatch in I was physical size. Say. Nobody would have guessed that one. Garrett taking down Rudy Glenn, but Mike, for as slight as he is in his build, uh, tackles very well. He uses his entire body when he comes in for a ball. And with his quickness, it makes it kind of dangerous. Brett Hall dribbling to the top of the box, knocked away by Kuno, but it goes right to Granitza. Granitza on the near boards of the Memphis zone, trying to pass it to Hall, but it's taken away by Sosnitsa. Knocked away by Granitza, but taken off the far corner boards by Steve Allison. He leaves it now to Michelo. He quickly rolls it up ahead to Sosnitsa. So Znitsa passing to the midfield, near boards, and Kunovac. Kuno bouncing past Stamankovic. Stamankovic left side of the box, a shot just missing wide on the near side. With the ball, Mike Garrett, top of the slot. He's at the red line, passing for Kuno, knocked away by Granitza. Right to Charlie Funkus. Back up midfielder Granitza. Granitza over the Memphis red line, down the near boards. Granitza stops, angles to the top of the box, passing far side. The Funkus drive, broken up by Allison. Loose ball, shot by Twelman, goes wide to the right side. Michelo clears the ball up ahead to Mike Garrett. Garrett clearing his own by Rudy Glenn. Late pass to Kuno. Kuno down the left side. Kuno a shot broken up by Spaulding. And loose ball to Rudy Glenn. Kuno was tripped up. The fans wanted the penalty. It was a nice tackle. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Yeah. 2-0-1 to go in the first quarter. The game tied 1-1 here at the Coliseum. Granitza into the Memphis zone. Good dribbling up the middle. Shot broken up. This one by Soznitsa. Ficus looking for the pass down the near side of the box. Ficus. Allison on him, and finally the ball rolls in close enough for Bill Michelot to make the grab. Good piece of defensive work right there by Stevie Allison as he managed to get his body between the ball and the goal. Tackled away from Garrett by Mike Twelman. Here's a drive off the near post by Granitza. Off the near post on a beautiful blistering drive by Carl Heinz Granitza. Midfield, Chicago has it. Derek Spaulding by the circle. Lead pass on the run, Paolo Marhedek down the far wing on Allison. Marhedek has it knocked away by Stevie off the boards to Mike Garrett. Garrett rolling it up to Sosnitsa. Minute 14 to go in the opening quarter. Sosnitsa leading for Stamekovic. Stamekovic in the near corner. Stamekovic near side of the box. Now works around top of the box. Stamekovic still with the ball leading Sosnitsa. Sosnitsa into the box. 
Holzenbein didn't know the ball was behind him. Henry passed to, to Holzenbein, who didn't know the ball was there. Carbignani in the far corner, puts the ball in on net, but taken by Dieter Ferner. He throws it up to the red line of Chicago and Marhedek. Back it goes to Ferner, kicks it up along the boards to Marhedek. Intercepted by Carbignani, lead pass, Espinosa, a shot and a goal! Tony Carbignani and George Espinosa. Tony stole the ball, fed George. George gets his second goal in two straight games. The Americans take the lead. There's a break in the action. The score, the Americans two, Chicago one. Two defensive lapses. Yeah. So it happens when you get tired. Clock going, showing now 25 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Chicago has the ball. Ryan on the near point. Volley shot broken up by Espinosa, who got the goal, assisted by Carbonelli to put the Americans back into the lead at 2-1. to one. Espinosa has the ball now back at his own end from Carbignani. Nine seconds to go. Espinosa now changing passes with Michelot up along to Stevie Long. Long to the far corner. Chicago's own three seconds left. Long in the corner. Centering pass for Carbignani. There is the horn. That is the end of the first quarter with the score. The Americans two and Chicago one. Well, I had a rough start, but I finally got myself going there. That's a pretty guy. Alonzo is Rudy Glenn. They look a lot like him. I guess the hair. Yeah. It wasn't as much as a mistake as it was great defense by George Espinosa coming all the way down into Chicago zone and not letting Pato Marhedek twice turn with the ball. Pato, probably one of the best dribblers in the league, just could not get the ball. And uh, Espinosa made his own break there off to Tony and back to him, and we have a goal. Okay, here comes Chicago as we're underway now in the second corner. Granitza centering top of the slot. Drive by Rudy Glenn is up into the crowd. That was a bullet. But it'll be simply a goal kick for Billy Michelot of the Americans. We switch ends now for the second quarter. Michelot now in the goal down to our right. And Dieter Ferner for Chicago in the goal down to our left. So it needs a high drive downfield into the Chicago zone on the fly. The three-line pass will bring the ball all the way back to the Americans' red line where Chicago will get control. In the first quarter, the Americans with seven shots to eight for Chicago. Here's Granitza, fire boards, banging it off the boards, missing connections with Charlie Ficus, who couldn't get the rebound pass and get a shot away. And the bouncing ball comes in on Michelo. He rolls it up ahead down to Mike Garrett. Garrett up to midfield, sidesteps one player, but the pass goes right to Ficus. Mike trying to get the ball back, collides with Rudy Glenn, and Glenn comes up with the ball, but Mike is still there, but the pass goes now to Ficus, leading to Granitza. Granitza in the slot, drive, a rolling shot and a save by Michelo, and he doesn't allow a rebound because Ficus was right on top of him. In the first quarter, Michelot with four saves to five saves for Dieter Ferner. Stamegovic puts the ball right off of Charlie Ficus and it rolls right in to Bill Michelot. What the heck was Stan doing? I don't doing? know if that was a planned play or not, but Ficus has got to feel a little silly right now. He just passed it right into his legs, got it back, and passed it back to Mish. Mike Garrett with the ball over the red line, angling a pass to the near corner. Goes behind Stamegovic, trying to clear it, is Spalding. He does so, goes along the near boards. Granitza with a header. Now volleys a pass cross field, far side to Brett Hall. Hall over the center line, far side, rolling pass to the slot, taken away by Allison, who moved from behind Glenn. And Allison, his play broken up by Granitza, but the loose ball rolls right to Stamekovic. He lobs for Allison. Stevie in the slot. Now gives it back to Stamekovic, just outside the red line on the far boards. Stan crossing a pass near side to Sosnitsa. Sosnitsa. With the ball, passing fire boards for Garrett. A little too tough for him to handle. Polzenbein coming off the bench, controls it. Now kicks it a pass for Stamekovic, but overleading him. And Rudy Glenn sends it back to Dieter Ferner. The goalkeeper throws it up to the fire boards and Hall up to midfield. He passes to Ficus. Back to Hall. Hall over the red line. Into the Memphis zone. Into the far corner. Shot off the boards. Michelot takes the rebound pass and smothers it. Rolls it up ahead, not a Holzenbein. Holsey out the midfield, rolling a pass along the near side to Stevie Long. Intercepted, though, by Derek Spaulding. Spaulding rolling a pass on the near side. Ryan is out. Michelot is way out of the net. Loose ball in the box, and Tony Carbignani controls. But Billy Michelot was fouled 
on the boards when he came way out to try to stop the charge of Greg Ryan. So the Americans have put the ball back in play. Big gamble by Mish. Luckily, he was involved. Midfield play near side, Stevie Long. To Holton by, back to Stevie. Brings it over the red line to Carbignani. Back to Long in the near corner. Long bangs it off the boards for himself, but it's taken away by Spaulding. They go to the corner. Foul is on Steve as he puts Spaulding down, and it'll be Chicago's ball on a free kick. 12 minutes, 10 seconds to go in the second quarter. The Americans leading it 2-1 to one here at the Mid-South Coliseum. Americans get the ball right back. Espinosa to the Chicago zone. Espinosa couldn't find the ball down there between his feet. And it's knocked away from him. And they call a foul on George. He was trying to shove to get himself open for the ball. And Chicago put the ball in play. Up to midfield, Pato Marhedic. Rolls it along the near boards to Holzenbein. Holzenbein to the near corner. It goes by him, taken away by the Americans right now. With his Marhedic takes it right back. Marhedic near side of the box, a shot. Headed away, and another shot goes wide on the left side. Michelot got a piece of Marhedic shot, just deflected it wide off the boards left. It came back out. Another header was wide. There's a Marhedic shot going wide on the left side again. Another drive by Young Jung Cho goes up into the crowd, and the Americans will have a goal kick. I'm a little confused how that goal didn't go in. Uh, I saw uh, Mish get his hand on the first shot by Marhedic, but the head by Alonzo looked like he was going in free and clear, and next thing you know, it's out. Some uh, defender did a good job of getting back on the line and clearing that. Michelot goal kick taken on a chest trap by Carbagnani. He bicycle kicks one to the Chicago zone, but it bounces in on Ferner ahead of Steve Long, and Ferner throws it up ahead to his own red line to Mike Twelman. Back to Cho. Cho kicking it up ahead to Alonzo. To Cho right by Marhedek, and it goes to Espinosa off the boards. He turns and sends it back to Matt O'Sullivan in his own zone. 11.09 to go in the second quarter. Midfield, Tony Carbignani kicks it off the far boards for Holzenbein. Holzing, controlling, kicks it up ahead to Steve Long at the Chicago red line. Stevie leaves for Holzenbein. Holzenbein to the far boards and Long. Long putting it off the boards, out in front, loose ball, a goal! It went into the box. It looked like Ferner lost the handle, and Baron Holzenbein, I think, knocked it in, or will it be Steve Long? Anyways, there's a break in the action, the score. The Americans three, Chicago one. I don't know. I don't know who the heck will get that one. I think Stevie Long's going to get that. He may have won it off a defender. Michelot coming up with a big save on a shot by Young Jung Cho as we just come right back to action. The Americans now lead it by two. The goal at 4.08 is credited to Baird Holzenbein, his ninth goal of the year. Stevie Long on the assist. Now into the Memphis zone, Pato Marhedic. Marhedic into the slot, works down the far side into the corner. Marhedic bangs it off the boards for Alonzo, taken off his foot by Michelot. He rolls it up ahead to Steve Allison. Now up to Kunovets. Kuno brings it over the red line of Chicago. Fakes the shot. Top of the box. Strive and a save by Ferner. Stamekovic has the rebound. Far side of the box. Stamekovic around top of the box. A shot saved by a defender, Bob Vossmeyer. And with it is Young Jung Cho. Cho out to midfield. Crossing a pass to the circle and Marhedic. Marhedic over the red line up the middle. Marhedic's pass broken up by Garrett. But it goes to Cho. He puts it in on that but up over the glass into the crowd. And a goal kick coming up for Michelot. Holes in mind again, his ninth goal of the year, his 15th point. Stevie Long gets the assist to make it 3-1. So apparently, Steve Long's rebound pass off the boards did go in off of Holes in mind after apparently Ferner had it but lost uh, lost possession. It looks like the uh, the length of the MISL season is starting to catch up with the Chicago Sting. Uh, most of these players have been playing three straight seasons, both yeah. outdoor and indoor. And uh, our coach here, has been expecting Chicago all season to tie her out, and it looks like this just might be it with the road trip and everything else. It's starting to funk down a little bit. Americans have the ball at midfield. Steve Allison up to Mike Garrett. He leaves it down for Henry Sosnitsa. Back over to Allison, midfield near side. He runs through the circle. Late pass for Stamekovic, intercepted by Spalding. And Chicago has it back. Brett Hall over the center line, crossing a pass far side to Katsukas. 
He leaves it along the red line, top of the slot to Charlie Ficus. Ficus passing to Granitza, far side of the box. On him is Sosnitsa. He bangs a pass off the boards into the box. Nobody there for Chicago. They're not moving at all. Just what we need at this point. Exactly. Mike Garrett, midfield, far side. Garrett working on Katsukas. Katsukas gets position and is called for obstruction. Mike Garrett and Katsukas are getting to be the best of friends. That's the fourth time that uh, Tasso's put Mike down. And again, we've talked about last week how quick Mike is and just doing the one little move he needs to get by. And the only thing you can do as a defender most times is just try to get a piece of him. Steve Allison has it at midfield as the Americans are on the attack over the red line, passing near boards to Mike Garrett, leaves it back to Allison. 8.42 to go, second quarter, 3-1, the Americans lead Chicago. Aaron pass for Memphis, taken away by Brett Hall. Up to Gordetsa, now to Hall. Hall collides with Sosnitsa. The foul is on Henry, and he took a hard shot. There are two hard little players. Uh, Brett Hall, a teammate of Steve Long's at Wheaton. Yeah. Is one tough little guy. And there's a player right now who's a little unhappy with the situation in Chicago and spoke to him just before the game, and he would like very much to come here to Memphis and play. Yeah, pass to the top of the box by Ficus, taken away by Sosnitsa to Garrett. His pass downfield intercepted right back by Spalding. But he lost the ball, and it's taken by Henry Sosnitsa at his own red line. Up now to Ray Kunovats. Kunovats, long downfield pass to Stemakovic, Stemakovic far side of the box, works around top of the box. Stemakovic down to the near side. His pass into the box, broken up by Spalding. Loose ball, Hall has it. Looks like it should have been a handball call. On the run, here comes Kasukas to Granitza. Shot saved by Michelo, who came way out to cut down the angle, and Granitza walks away, shaking his head. At his own red line, Mike Garrett. To Allison. Of course, you know Mish wants to play so well against Chicago. I was going to say, there's no love loss between those two players. You got it. Into the near corner, Steve Allison. Allison has it taken away as he lost it to Katsukas. As Ferner rolls it up ahead, not a Dieter, uh, to uh, Charlie Ficus. Ficus, not a Granitza. Granitza angling slowly over the red line, leaves it now for Diego Castro. In the game for the first time, long bouncing shot by Hall, blocked by Allison, cleared away by Garrett out the midfield off the far boards. Derek Spaulding tapping it up ahead for Ficus, but right to the Chicago bench, and the Americans get the ball back. 7-18 to go in the second quarter, and the Americans leading it by the score of 3-1. to one. After this, the Americans head on a big West Coast road trip. First game will be in Phoenix. Next Thursday night. From there, we go to Los Angeles on Friday, and then they go to San Diego on Sunday. O'Sullivan putting it in play. Long, high kick downfield, headed by Carbignoni in on net, and Furter makes a grab and rolls it up ahead now to Marhedic. Marhedic has it tapped away by Carbignani. Carbignani to the sh Chicago zone. Carbignani a drive, broken up by Voss Meyer. Loose ball, controlled. Holds in by the shot off the crossbar. Oh, burned. He's right back where he ended last week. He takes it right away from Joe at midfield. Leads for Carbignani. Carbignani over the red line. Into the slot. Passing far side to Holzenbein. To Long. Back to Holsey. Holsey on the far wing. To Long in the corner. Bangs it off the boards and taken by Ferner as Holzenbein was there waiting for the rebound pass. Mid in the Chicago zone. Espinoza pushes Alonzo from behind. There's a long drive. Carbignani missing just wide on the left side. And Vossmeyer controls for Chicago. Tied up by Long, fouled by Stevie. And it'll be put in play by Vossmeyer of Chicago. Little heel pass for by Alonzo for Ryan. He battles, taken away by Espinosa, but it's kicked right to Cho. He has to go off the side of his foot into the crowd across the way. And the Americans get the ball back with 6.20 left to go in the second quarter. And the Americans leading it 3-1. to one. The Americans right now have Chicago right where they want them. Uh, this is a chance for the Americans to sort of get the killer instinct and put the handle on this because Chicago is just not playing well. You don't see a player of, Sh of Cho's reputation play a ball that lazily into the crowd. Long a drive from the far wing, broken up top of the box. Loose ball to the near corner. Cho has it, and he gives it off to Vossmeyer, who in turn kicks it right up ahead to Spalding. Spalding on the run out to midfield, switches off now with Marhedic. Otto Marhedic back to Ryan, kicked away from Espino by Espinosa to Tony Carbignani. Carbignani along the far boards into the Chicago zone, tackled there by Vossmeyer. They battle on the boards, and Espinosa joins the battle, but they call a foul on Vossmeyer, and the Americans get the ball. They call Vossmeyer on the hold. So the Americans will have it on a free kick on the far boards of the Chicago zone. 5.45 to go in second quarter action. 
The Americans trying to add to the three to one lead. Carbonati to Espinosa into the slot to Stevie Long, deflected and just rolls wide of the net to the right side. Here's Espinosa, a drive from 35 feet away, and it goes up into the crowd. And a goal kick coming up for Chicago. Well, ever since George got the goal the other night that uh, capped off the big 11 8 win, he's been. Uh, He's been unleashing some shots. He finds out it's not that hard to shoot. <laughs> the more you shoot, the better chance you have of scoring. I think that's needed throughout the American lineup. Uh, too many times we wait for one player to do all the shooting, one or two, being Dudek or Stamikovic, when each one of these players has a great shot and they just need the opportunity to take it. The goal kick by Ferner was a three-line pass so the Americans get it back at the Chicago red line. By the way, Helmut Dudek is out tonight. He is out with a separated shoulder. Second strike game, he has missed. Now Stevie Long has it in the slot from Carbignani. Rolled off him. There's Carbignani, a shot just hitting off the near post. Tony shot came from the far wing. Now in the slot, Holzenbein. Holzenbein winds a drive, saved by Ferner. Rebound, Holzenbein has it back, and they call a foul. I don't know what that foul was for. They're calling a two-minute penalty. And who are they calling it on? They're calling a trip on somebody. A penalty has been called apparently against Chicago. We've got a break in the action. The score, the Americans three, Chicago one. That's hard to figure. I couldn't see it. But we need it. <laughs> Johnny Tima. <coughs> Excuse me. So at 9.46, Boss Meyer goes for tripping the Americans with a man advantage. Figueredo with a shot, broken up immediately by Ficus. Stamankovic now leads for Holzenbein. Long drive, off the near post and in! Off the post, off the goalkeeper and in! The Americans have increased their lead. As Holzenbein took the drive, a hit off the near post, ricocheted off the back of Dieter Ferner into the net. And the Americans have now got a three-goal lead. There's a break in the action with the score, Memphis 4 and Chicago 1. That's about time with the bullets he's been hitting the last two games. <clears throat> call a timeout. And a new goalkeeper. And that apparently is going to be all for Sting goalkeeper Dieter Ferner as they now bring on Victor Nagura. And this guy's a good one. Nagura is one of the best. In fact, when uh, the Americans played him up in Chicago in early January uh, at that time, Nagura had a goals against average of about two and a half goals a game. So he's a tough one. And you know, I'm just getting ready to say, Chris, before the Americans scored the goal, that the Sting is one of the stingiest teams in giving up goals and a man advantage. Their opponents had only scored on 25% of the man advantage opportunities, 14 of 56. But the Americans, one of the best in the league on the man advantage, have now converted 23 of 57, over 40% of the time they get the man advantage, they'll score a goal. So the Americans have done it. The goal, again, the goal, time of the goal, I even forgot to write it down, comes at 10, at, uh, 10 01. As Holzenbein, his second goal of the quarter. It was a nice shot by Holzenbein. As we've talked the last two games, he's uh, had nothing but woodwork. Oh. And uh, that shot again was right on target. He took it well outside the penalty area and had a lot of stuff on it. Bounced off the post and before Dieter Ferner could even turn around to see what was happening, it was off his back and in. So Holzenbein deserves it. The way he's been shooting, the way he's been playing, it's just been a bit of hard luck so far that he doesn't have three or four goals each game. Something you alluded to a little bit earlier that this is the uh, third straight season for Chicago. In, in, in reality, it's almost their fourth because you had last year's outdoor season, then the indoor season they played last winter. The outdoor season just completed last, what, August? That's and then they, they go right into MISL play in November. That's a lot of playing. That's, you know, that's almost two consistent years without a break. That's very tough on athletes. Uh, people expect them to be able to just walk out on the floor every night and be able to give 100%. But the body just cannot take that wear and tear day after day. Near, near can the mind. Uh, 
psychologically, it's very tough to get yourself up for a game after game. And these guys have got to be wearing down. Uh, as fine as a the team they are, they're making mistakes that you never yeah. see a Chicago team make. Chicago puts the ball in play. We're back to action now with just under five minutes left to go in the first half. With the ball at midfield, Ryan out of Young Jung Show. Show putting a bouncing pass in on net, and it's taken by Michelo. He rolls it up ahead now to Stevie Allison. The Americans lead it 4-1 to one here at the Mid-South Coliseum. Hope you're enjoying all the action here on WREC. Americans with the ball back in their own end. Steve Allison on the run now along the near boards. Getting by Mike Twelman over the Chicago red line. Passing to Stomekovic. Knocked away from him, though, by Vossmeyer. Who, by the way, comes out of the penalty box on that man advantage goal by the Americans. Mike Twelman on the run. Bats pouncing a pass off the near corner. It's knocked in the air by Michelo. Comes down on the near side. Cleared out midfield by Kunovets. To Stomekovic. To Kunovets. A drive high and wide of the near side. Garrett has the rebound. To Kuno. A shot. Crossing through the box as he just turned and tried to get a shot away as his shot goes up into the crowd way way off target it was uh, though off the head of uh, I think Bob Bosmeyer corner kick so so Slitsa with a drive off the corner kick now it'll be a goal kick now for Chicago kick. Americans with a good good opportunity that long downfield pass by Kuno just to make caught Chicago down in the Americans end and they got the drive away just missed high and wide of the near side just missing Nagura Garrett had the rebound and tried to set up another shot. We're back to action. Midfield, Ricardo Alonso over the Memphis red line. His pass taken away by Garrett. Puts it right through the legs of Cho. Rolling pass downfield to Stomekovic. He's in the Chicago zone down the far side. Stomekovic now moving to the slot, feeding to Kuna. That's a shot. A save by Nagura. He is so nonchalant in the nets, too. He hey, looks a bit relaxed for a team that's down 4-1, and he's playing like it's a Sunday afternoon game. Well, it is. 3.39 <laughs> to go in the first half. My bad. 4-1, <laughs> one, Americans leading it here in the first half. 3.38 to go, Chicago has the ball at midfield. First Sunday afternoon game of the year. The reason why it's a little unusual for us to be talking about afternoons instead of nights. Ball bouncing around in the Americans end. Taken by Steve Allison, leaves for Michelot. He rolls it up ahead now to Henry Sosnitsa. Henry midfield near side, up to the center circle, and Mike Garrett. Garrett sidesteps one player, sidesteps another player. Mike Garrett passing off. It's taken away by Vossmeyer. Oh, what electrifying moves by Garrett. Taken right back by Kunovets. To Stomekovic. Stomekovic on the far point. Stomekovic still has the ball. Stomekovic hounded by Cho. And he's fouled by him and has, puts the ball back in play. And they'll put it in play again. Stan has a penchant for putting that ball in play almost too quickly well, before his teammates are set. He's trying to draw the encroachment call a lot of times and get things set up or either get a penalty if a man does it once too often, but it's a dangerous, dangerous call indoors. Tomekovic top of the box is written off the play. They call him on the foul this time, and Chicago will get the ball back. And they say he had his arm wrapped around one of the defenders. 2.57 to go, first tap. Chicago with the ball midfield, Ricardo Alonso. Gets by Kunovat, still has the ball, passes it off near point to Mike Twelman. He sends it to the near corner, and Alonzo, Alonzo has nobody on him. Finally, Allison enjoys the battle. Boy, there's a size mismatch. Now we're on top of the box. Kunovat goes over the top of a player. Here's a drive, missing wide on the near side. Rebound control by Alonzo. Alonzo has it knocked away by Michelot. Michelot goes down, and he is hurt. Alonzo came down on top of Bill and really twisted his leg up. I mean, it may be serious. Michelot is dragging that left leg. Alonzo got tied up in him and fell down almost like a wrestling hole where you have the guy's legs in between yours and you try to twist him around. Well, he fell. All that 190 pounds wrenched Bill's, looks like his left ankle, and Mish could be out. Right now, American trainer Frank Bunnell is checking him over. Alonzo is just tying his shoe. Nothing much happened to him. When you're that big, nothing does happen to you. But uh, they're still looking over Mish. Well, Michel has had a bit of problem with that ankle early on in the season, and uh, anybody who plays athletics knows that an ankle injury does not heal too quickly. No, no. It takes forever in a day because the blood circulation down in that area is just not like it is in other parts of the body. They may have to warm up Richard Boot. Let's see. Richard is up in the bench. Warming up now in case he has to come in. This would really hurt Mish, too, because he really wants to beat Chicago. I mean, this guy wants it so bad. Because he left Chicago very bitterly. Uh, when he was uh, traded away 
or when he left Chicago, uh, there were some very, very bitter words about him by Granitza in the newspapers to the, uh, to the effect that Mish was a flake, Mish was a quitter, things like that. And of course, so, so Bill's parting with Chicago was very, very, very bitter. And he is really, really just wants revenge on this team very badly, especially in the wake of the 8-3 game up in Chicago back in early January. There is a lot of emotion in this game, Tanya. Look, Stevie Long, former Chicago Sting player. George Espinosa, former Chicago Sting player. Steve Dorr, former teammate of Rudy Glenn. Mike Simonton. Uh, At Indiana Charlie University. Charlie Ficus. Steve At Long with Fred Hall. So there's a lot of personalities Chicago, involved here, a lot of emotions. Chicago trainer Jerry Carter yeah. is back in his hometown. He used to be the trainer for the Memphis Rogues. And, of course, he's now been the trainer for Chicago, I believe, about two and a half years. Apparently, Mish is going to stay in, but I'll tell you what, I wouldn't give you a plug nickel from that ankle tomorrow morning. It'll probably be about the size of a grapefruit. But he's going to stay in. He's hobbling around on it, but he'll stay in as it'll be a free kick for Chicago. In the near corner of the American zone, two and a half minutes to go in the second quarter. Twelman putting it in play, shot by Vossmeyer, high and wide to the far side. Rebound control by Chicago. It's Cho in the corner, giving a pass off to Ryan, knocked away by Stamekovic, who's back playing defense. Stamekovic still with the ball on his own end. On Ryan, passing up circle to Sosnitsa, not a Garrett. Garrett with a couple of good, high-bouncing uh, dribbles. Gets by Cho, now it's knocked away, goes to Ryan. Battling back, Garrett on the far boards along with Ricardo, Ricardo Alonzo. Into the far corner, Alonzo takes a big dive, tripped up by Allison, it'll be just a foul. As now it appears Alonzo is shaken up. There's Alonzo at what, 190 pounds. Stevie Long at what, 165 on a good day <laughs> after a big meal? When he wears his sandals on a scale. Chicago puts the ball in play. It's in the near corner. Fanning on the shot is Mike Twelman. Alonzo has it in the near corner. Double team gets it off to Mike Twelman. Now top of the slot. Shot saved. Michelo on the shot by Vossmeyer. It was a low one. Mish had to go down to make the grab. Holzenbein at his own right line with a minute 47 to go in the first half. Gives it up ahead now to Steve Allison. Leaves it now for Holsey. A good crowd on hand. Better than I thought. At least when the... Uh, about an hour before game time. There were just a whole lot of empty seats here. It looks like it'll be a good crowd here this afternoon against Chicago. Stamekovic, good dribbling on Joe, but still has the ball in his own end. Stamekovic taking on two players, now three players, still has it, and gets oh, away from him. Oh, my God. And he gets away from him. Stamekovic over the red line, down the near side. Stamekovic is tied up by Ryan, who takes the ball away finally. Here comes Holsey to take the ball back, but it's taken right back by Chicago. Vossmeyer on the run, has it go off his foot, but taken by Twelman. Leaves now for Charlie Ficus. Up ahead now to Vossmeyer in the Memphis zone on the far point. Leaves it back out to uh, Twelman. Twelman, a lob off the far corner for Brett Hall. Brett Hall turns, fires, broken up by Holzenbein. Shot by Kutsukas, headed away, top of the box by Espinoza. 45 seconds to go in the second quarter. Americans take the ball away. Stevie Long overleading Mike Garrett. And it rolls down to the Chicago one where it's taken by Tasso Katsukas. Katsukas. Long bouncing drive to the far corner for Hall off his foot taken by Kuno. It pops up over the glass in the far corner. And whose ball is it going to be? It's going to be a goal kick. It'll be the Americans ball on a goal kick with 27 seconds left to go in the second quarter. Michelot with a line drive over the head of Carmignani, but the right to Steve Long. Long has it far boards. Long over the red line, giving it off right by Carmignani, who didn't break for the ball. Tony takes it right back from Hall. Gives a holes in by to Carmignani, and the give and go over lead. Here's Charlie Ficus. Line drive pass off the far corner boards for Granitza. On his back is O'Sullivan, and they're going to call Matt for holding. Matt's going to go for two minutes. The penalty coming with just six seconds. Left to go in the first half. Well, I guess if you got to get a penalty, the best way to do it is split it up between quarters. The only problem is coming back at the beginning of the second half with them having a man advantage for, what, a minute, uh, 54 seconds. It's going to be pretty tough. The Americans have got to come out then in the third quarter with a lot of determination. O'Sullivan getting his 13th and 14th penalty minutes. 
the seventh time he's been in the penalty box this year. Six seconds left to go. Corner kick. Granitza off the glass. Headed away by Rudrov. Volley shot by Katsukas. Broken up top of the box. And there is the horn. That is the end of the first half. With the score, the Americans four and Chicago one.